Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to be talking about camera blend. What is it and why you should probably use it and know what it is. And essentially when we're in Unreal Engine, we've got two cameras. We have the player character camera, and then we can have a additional camera that we bring in, a cine camera. That's for maybe recording a cutscene from within our game. So when we're playing the game and we want to transition from our camera, the player camera, to the cutscene camera, we can use what's called a camera blend to do a cool transition blending effect from the player character camera to the cutscene camera back to the player character camera. So I'm just in a third person template. What I did is I brought in an HDRI background image and I brought in a mannequin in idle pose up there. And then I also have a cine camera up there. And I just brought this in to save time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the content level here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna create a cinematic level sequence and I'm going to double click into it. I'm going to select the cine camera here and go add to the scene. It's right here up on top. Puts me in pilot actor mode. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the control wheel and I'm just gonna scroll out here a little bit. I'm gonna go here where it says 30 FPS. I'm gonna go show time in seconds just so I don't have to do that extra math in my head. I'm gonna grab this red bar and drag it out. And let's say we're gonna make a, a 10 second cutscene that we're gonna be blending in and out of. Let's say I'm gonna drag this out now to the length of that. Now what I can do just to add a little bit of interest to this is I can go ahead and select the cine camera right here and make sure auto keyframe is on. And I can add a keyframe here at the very beginning. And then I can hit here and go to the very end frame here. And I'm just going to, I'm not sure which one it is on the X. No, it's not the X. It might be on, no, it's not this the green one. I'm just going to push in a little bit here and maybe I'll come up a little bit more. So that's all I'm going to do for my, my shot. So if I come back here to the beginning, it's just a simple, slow kind of dolly in shot here. Okay, over 10 seconds, painfully slow actually. So that's it, okay? But I'm giving myself a little bit more time because we're gonna blend in and out of the shot. So if we come up here and click on camera cuts and I right click, you'll see there's this option right up here at the very top called can blend. I simply click that right there. Now remember what we're gonna do. We're gonna be transitioning from the player character camera to this camera and then we're gonna switch back to the player character camera. And if we don't use camera blend, if we were to switch cameras, it would just be an abrupt straight cut. Once I've added that can blend here, there's a little tiny arrow right up here. I don't know if you can see it. If I click right there, you see that? It's a little tiny yellow arrow, it's hard to see. See when I click and drag now, I'm blending in. So that's creating a basically a blend in there and you can come back it's a little yellow triangle and then it goes into a double arrow when you're at it and this is going to transition out right there so that's our camera blend right there this is going to create a smooth transition from our player character camera to our cine camera and then we're going to reverse it and go back to the player character camera here and then you can adjust this however you want to do it okay now to trigger this little interaction, I guess we're going to have to do that. So let me go ahead and save the sequencer now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let me get out of camera mode there. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag my level sequence into the scene here like that. And then let's go ahead and get a trigger box. I have my place actors tab open here. Let's get a trigger box. And I'm just doing this real quick and dirty. So I'm gonna put it over here on this ramp so I'll be sure to walk over it. I'll just put it right there like that. My player starts also right there too, by the way. Okay, so with my trigger box selected, I'm gonna go into the level blueprint and I'm going to right click, add event, on collision, on actor begin overlap. Then I'm gonna go back into the scene. I'm gonna select that level sequence that I drug in. I'm going to go back into the level blueprint here. I'm going to right click and just create a reference to that. I'm just going to drag off of here 
and go play sequence right here. Let me just pull this down like that and just plug this in like that. So then I will compile and save that. So then I have a way to turn on the sequence within the game. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And like I said, if I come back into the sequencer here, we can adjust this blend if we don't, if we want to make it longer or shorter. But I just want to show you what it looks like. So here we go. I'm going to hit play. I'm in my game, right? And there is our character right there, our mannequin. And the trigger device is over here on this ramp, right? So if I come over here and then I come up here, I'm going to trigger the animation to start playing and you'll see how it blends. So watch. So then it's going to blend back. Cool, huh? And then I regain control after that. Now, maybe I want it to be a more dramatic. I'm going to hit escape. Maybe that was too fast. I thought that was pretty abrupt. So let's make that a smoother blend. So I'll just drag it out here to, let's say, four seconds. And we'll drag this out here. It's kind of tricky to get on that little arrow, but there you go. Okay. Now let's try it again. I'll just save this. And let's try that one more time. But hopefully you get the idea of what you can do with it. But I, I think it's a really cool effect. So here we go up again. Trigger the animation. There we go. So this would be great for storytelling in your, your game. And then it goes back to reality here. So when it cuts over, you can just imagine maybe they're in a bad area of the game or something and you want it to cut to a dialogue of someone talking when they cross a certain point in the game. So it could be maybe this mannequin is giving this character a warning once he crosses up this ramp. And to play out that scene, you just would walk up here. Boom, and here we go to our cutscene. It's a nice way to get to our cutscene. And then that character could be saying something, and then they're done. And now we're back to gameplay right here. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.